Hello boys and girls. I'm going to show you how we use Teams today and this is if we need to do any learning at home. Now most of us have mastered Seesaw so we are moving on to something a little bit more challenging. Now the first thing you need to do to get onto Teams is to go onto the Hub website. So I've searched for Hub here and then I clicked signed in and I signed in using my Hub email account. So remember that ends in at hubcumry.net. Next, we need to go over to the menu button and we're going to click on this and go down to Office 365. And in here, we need to look along the side here. We've got all these apps that we can use in and outside of school. And we're going to go down to Teams and click on that. Now, you might have this window pop up. If you are at home and you have permission from your parents, you can download the Teams app, which means you'll always be logged into it and it'll be ready to use whenever you go onto your device. You can do this on a tablet, a phone, or on your computer. Otherwise, you need to click this button down here, and this is what we're going to do when we're using Teams in school as well. So click here. And next, I want you to go over to the side panel here and I want you to click on Teams. And here you can see all the different teams that you're a part of. So I've got lots of teams here. You may only have your class team. So find your class and click on that. The first thing you'll see in your teams is the post section. So if you can't see that, click on posts. And here we can have conversations and you can say, good morning, hello. You can post anything here and we can have discussions as a class. The next thing you'll have is files. This is where your teacher might save some important class materials that you may need. Then we have a class notebook. So when you open the notebook, you'll see this. Welcome to our class notebook. Click on the purple arrow and open the content library to see an overview of your learning. So if we were learning at home, your teacher would put an overview for the week so you can see what you're gonna be learning. So if I do as it says here, it says click on the purple arrow and then go to the content library. I can see here it says overview of learning. So let's click on that. And then over here is all the learning for the week. So we're familiar with these colors. We've got our learning objective in yellow. We've got our task in blue. And then here, this is the important bit. It says assignment name. So we need to come back to this. So there's a literacy, numeracy, and then a topic, digital learning, science, PE, art based subject as well. So if we look at Monday, I can see that my first lesson is all about punctuation. We are learning to use punctuation and my task is to use commas accurately. Then I can see for my numeracy lesson, we are learning to multiply. And the task is to multiply numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000. And the assignment name is there. And then my third lesson for the day is a digital learning lesson. We are learning to cite sources. And the task is to understand why and how we cite research sources. At the bottom, then, we have some basic skills. And this says it's available in files. So remember this tab at the top where it said files? That's where you'll find your basic skills. So our basic skills are our reading, spelling, Welsh and mental maths. So these are things you'd practice every day and you could post a video of yourself doing these things on Seesaw. I mainly want to focus on these assignments for now. So if we go back to that first lesson, the literacy one, about using commas, remember I said that this bit was really important. So the assignment name is Literacy Punctuation 1. So to find that lesson, I'm going to go over to this tab where it says assignments and I'm going to click on here and here is the lesson literacy punctuation one it has the same name as what it said in the class notebook literacy is punctuation one if we click on this I can see my learning objective I can see my task and the first thing here it says reference materials Literacy, Punctuation 1, Teacher Explanation, Movie. This is a video of your teacher explaining what you need to do for this lesson. And then underneath it says My Work. So when you click on that, 
that's where you need to fill in your work. And your teacher will give you a template that you can work on and all the instructions will be in there as well. Okay, once you finish that, you close and you click hand in. And that will tell your teacher that your assignment is finished. To get feedback on your assignment, you need to go back into the assignment section. And where you've completed work, your teacher will then put some feedback on there and you'll get a notification to tell you that that's been done. The last thing I want to talk about is once a week, you will have a live session with your teacher uh, where you'll be in a group of small children, a small group of children, sorry, <laughs> and you will have a time and a day each week where you meet with that group and your teacher in a video call and you can talk about your learning. So your teacher will set that up with you.